You make lots of noise. Your applause is a positive thing. The seals understand that, and then that helps to reinforce all the behaviours that they're learning today. This guy that you're about to meet, well, he's only a youngster. He's another Californian sea lion. He came to us six years ago from the Rotterdam Zoo in Holland. Here he is. What about a big round of applause for Roy? Not here alone. Hello. Detroit, when he's ready after all, he's That's voice. Oh. Now, the first and most important behaviour that our seals learn when they come to us, whether they're born here or they're rescued, is called husbandry. It's where they cooperate in their daily health care. Now, as you can see, Steve and Troy have a very strong relationship, just as Mel and Murphy did a moment ago. Which means that that's it. <laughs> yes, he agrees with that. Which means that Troy can present certain body parts to Stevo on command. Also, we get the Troy to lie down nice and still, just as you're about to see, which is really important too. <laughs> now, wait, Steve can get up nice and close to Troy, just then speak to the <laughs> And also, to Kelly. That, by the way, is a very prone position for a seal to be in. Just lying down and actually exposing their belly like that. Now, in our exhibit areas, we have shoe boxes painted black with cords coming out of them. We pretend they're x-ray machines, so when it comes to the real thing, we don't stress out the animal. And then by doing all of these things, we can build a strong relationship with our animals and get them to do really cool things just like this. Oh. Here 
comes. That's always only learning to do that. One day we'll get him to go all the way across the stage. <laughs> Just like oh. that. That's well over 100 kilograms up on those front two flippers. And those flippers are pretty handy in the water too. They're pretty powerful, allowing Troy to get up and out of the water. And we're a little bit short staffed today. We need the assistance of someone in the audience. Someone who doesn't mind getting a little bit wet. What about you? You look like you've been volunteered by someone else. Why don't you come down here, mate? And you don't mind getting a little bit wet, do you? You can be a silk trainer for the day. What's your name? Matt. Okay, Matt. So what we want you to do is stand right here in front of Steve-O. Have you got a loud voice? A bit. Well, you've got to have a lot, mate, because I'm going to count to three. We want you to throw your arms in the air and yell as loudly as you can, jump Troy. You got that? Jump Troy. One, two, three. <laughs> don't, don't, no, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Did you hear that, Troy? <laughs> <laughs> here to give you some assistance. Guys, when I count to three, I want you to throw your arms in the air, yell as loudly as you can, jump through. You too, Matt, all right? I'll get safe out of the way. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. I think we went the wrong person as well. Matt, thanks very much, guys. What about a big round of applause for Paul And also for Troy and Simo. <laughs> We've just met two really cool Californian sea lions. These guys have found.